Let's get to the fallers now. Who do you consider the biggest either wide receiver or tight end faller of this offseason? I mean, the whole Stephon Diggs situation didn't exactly yeah. help. Josh Allen, I love the guy. I think he's, you know, okay, taking Mahomes and Lamar Jackson, that's fine. But he is a top five most entertaining quarterback in this league. But just throwing the ball, he's <laughs> not there yet. And he took really big strides in almost everything from his rookie year to his, his second year, going to a third year with Diggs, with a better offensive line. You know, it's there's this scenario where he plays better, but he just has a long way to go to even yeah. get to above the average. I mean, he was a bottom five QB pretty much every deep ball stat last year except for you know throwing the ball downfield a lot which he does so he's fun to watch he makes defenses account for every square inch of that field because you never know what the guy's gonna do it's just you know what is this gonna mean for Stefan Diggs John Brown was able to be the PPR wide receiver 20 last year I think we'd all agree Diggs is better than Brown but the problem is like is there gonna be more volume necessarily yeah. like he, he was already not used that much and he was used in a way more efficient manner in Minnesota, I don't think anything like 150 or targets is coming. If he can get in the 120, 130 range, okay, he can do something with it. But John Brown's good. Cole Beasley's good. Rising second-year tight end Dawson Knox is good. I mean, I'm just not convinced they're going to build this entire passing game around Diggs. There's just a whole lot of questions. Now, I guess you can point to the Hopkins and say, why is Hopkins so much higher than Diggs if, you know, we kind of have similar volume concerns. And, you know, and that's why Diggs being priced as low as he is, I mean, I'm not saying he's a stay away, but I, I just think him going in that kind of wide receiver 25 range is warranted for the time being. Yeah, he's the guy I had written down as my biggest faller, too. Uh, to just illustrate the stats that you were mentioning there with the, the deep balls, Josh Allen, 6 for 50, 12% completion rate on throws over 30 yards in uh, in the air, three TDs and three interceptions on those throws, whereas Kirk Cousins was 10th last year in deep comp- uh, completion percentage with 44.3%, 119.7 deep passer rating was third in the league, whereas Allen ranked 23rd and 20th out of 24 categories. Uh, QBs in each of those respective categories. So definitely a huge downgrade. Now, how much of that was Diggs being so good at tracking the ball and shaking free of defenders? Or maybe that will help close that gap. It certainly will help. But how much of it is just Cousins as a better compute, uh, quarterback, a better deep thrower than him? Because Diggs did rely on, it was 16 receptions, 16 deep ball receptions, led the league in deep yardage, all six of his TDs were deep throws. That was 54.5% of his production came on 16 deep receptions. If those balls are getting sailed over his head because Cousins is just that much better than Allen, it could be a much uglier. And never mind the diva concerns, right? Like if if he's starting to struggle and it's it's not going as well, we've already seen him go on tirade on tirade on the the Twitter. So who knows exactly what's going to happen there? But it's way too many question marks for me to consider. So I'm with you. He's a guy I have fallen completely off of. <laughs> What is up, you fantasy wolf? Thanks so much for tuning in. If you haven't already, share your thoughts in the comments, check out some more videos, and join the newest wolf pack by subscribing below.